Hi everybody, this is Michael Bridge at the World of Accordions Museum in Superior, Wisconsin. This is an extraordinarily rare accordion. I've only ever seen one and it is going to blow the minds of every accordionist out there because this accordion does not have double reeds. It is a single reed accordion. That means it's the same reed on the open and on the close of the bellows. So let me show you what's inside. We have one reed uh, sitting right here and this is what it looks like. You can see single reed tongue in the middle. It's the same on both sides. These air vents on either side of the reed help air get into the middle of this double plate where the reed is, and that helps it to get activated. Um, and yes, so this accordion is completely full of single tongue reeds like this. So let's open it up see what's inside, and then we're going to hear it as well. And spoiler alert, yes, it can bellow shake. And now I'm joined by Dr. Helmi Harrington, curator of the World of Accordions Museum. So would you like to say a few words about this instrument? Thank you, Michael. And first I'd say thank you to Michael Bridge for his interest in this particular instrument and for his pleasure, for our pleasure in having him at the museum for a concert and uh, a review of the special instruments that we have. This accordion was a donation from Joanna Darrow out of New Jersey, and we're grateful to her for her foresight in making sure that the rarity of this singleton instrument is not lost and is in fact preserved here in the museum. So first thing we'll do is take out the pins, the bellows pins. All right. So there's the pliers. So let's have a look inside. This is absolutely unique. So there you can see even on the base reeds that we have single tongues on all of those bases, as are all the reeds in this accordion. This is the proof that it does in fact exist and you're about to hear this instrument play. Shall we take one block out? Sure, let's do that. You want a bass block out or a treble block? It doesn't matter. Let's do a bass. Seeing as how I have that in hand. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. So, this might be a little dusty, but... <laughs> can get it both sound... both ways. <laughs> and then, what do we have over here? In and out on all of these reeds. These look like brass weights that have been added to the tips. Very That's, likely. That lowers the, the pitch artificially, uh, even in such, such a short reed, if I'm not, uh, not mistaken. Right. But notice also that the tongues seem to have the same length, even if they are not the same pitch, yes. which is very interesting. Yeah, these, are, these reeds are all exactly the same size. That must have been a shortcut in manufacturing because this is very rare. So yes. They likely made one template and said, let's go for it. That's it. So there you have it. That's the insides of this accordion. Thank you, Dr. Harrington. Let's, uh, let's hear what it sounds like. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 